Hello, guys. How are you doing? Good night, guys. How's it going today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening, evening teacher. Good evening, Luis. Thank you for coming. Happy to see you again, guys. How was your weekend? Did you enjoy the weekend? I enjoyed my weekend, teacher. Very good. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. What did you do on the weekend, Jorge? Mm, I was watching TV and listening to music. Teacher. Awesome. Hey, that sounds yes, great. And my, yes, and my weekend was uh, relaxed all day. Very good. Happy to hear that. And what kind of music do you like for him? Romantic music teacher. Very good. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Maybe you can, uh, eat. I mean, just like maybe sing a song to, to, to somebody, maybe a girlfriend or something like that. <laughs> that <laughs> would be great, right? And what about the uh, movies? Uh, no. <laughs> what is your favorite uh, movie genre? What kind of movies do you like? Mm -hmm. I don't have any uh, movie teacher. Oh, I see. Uh, for me, no, no light uh, watching the movie. I only, only, este, only watch. I see. So you don't have like a, like a favorite movie or something like that. You just watch TV. Just like that. No. Only what movie? I see. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, I I do have like I think that uh, my favorite like movie genre it would be like maybe horror movies and then probably like science fiction movies. Those are really good. I mean, with all the special effects and all that, it's really, it's really fun. I mean, it's really nice. Do you like to go to the to the movies, for example, like like to Cinepolis or Cinemark, something like that? Um, I like okay. to Cinepolis. Is is better? Yeah, I I agree. Mm. I totally agree with you on that. I don't know why, but I just like it. Uh, it's like the the environment. I don't know, but it seems like better to me. So I agree. What about the rest, guys? Mm. Uh, would you like to go to the movies? Bueno, bienvenidos a los que acaban de llegar, gracias. Estábamos conversando con Jorge ahí. Estamos hablando acerca de lo que nos gusta hacer, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, qué, qué tal les fue en su fin de semana, guys? ¿Qué hicieron? Jorge dice que él se quedó en casa, se relajó, escuchó música, música romántica. Así que... Y también, bueno, vio unas películas por ahí. No sé qué, qué me cuentan los demás. Le gusta ir al cine, por ejemplo. Do you like to go to the movies, guys? There have been like some really interesting movies these days, like Transformers, Flash. Those movies. Uh, do you like that kind of movies, guys, or not? Not really. No, verdad. <laughs> ¿Qué tipo de películas le gustan? De horror, de suspenso, drama. Vamos a ver, Carla, ¿qué nos puede contar? Carla Delgado. <laughs> what kind of movies do you like, Carla? <laughs> you, you are muted right now, Carla. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. Now I can. I like comedies. Comedies, okay, very good. So we are back, guys. I don't know what is going on, but it seems like Zoom is having issues. So I apologize. You guys were like freezing and then for some reason, Zoom wouldn't, wouldn't work. So well, but Carla, you were saying that you like comedies, right? So do you have like a favorite movie, perhaps? A, f a movie that you really like no, a lot? I don't have... You don't have one? I don't No. I see. Like um, maybe American movies 
or some Korean movies. Korean movies, okay, awesome. Very good. Nice. My brother likes Korean movies as well. Uh, did, did you like, like, for example, uh, the Calamar games or uh, the Squid? I, I don't know how to say it in, in English. I, I forgot. <laughs> Los Juegos del Calamar, ¿qué tal? ¿Le, le gustó esa, esa serie? <laughs> No la he visto. No la he visto todavía. No, yet. Not yet. Oh, my goodness. How come? I mean, that is a Korean film. But it's not a comedy, right? <laughs> you, you like comedies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. I see. I see. No problem. Vamos a ver qué tal eh, Carla Hernández. ¿Qué nos puede contar Carla Hernández? Por ahí la veo. Cuénteme, Carla. ¿Qué tal estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend, Carla? You are muted, Carla. We cannot hear you right now. Ah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Now we can hear you. It was, it was nice. Really? So what did you do on the weekend? Uh, did you go out? Did you stay at home with your family? What did you do? Yes, uh, on Sunday, uh -huh. I got out, but the on some, uh, <laughs> the next I spend the time with my family. So on Sunday you went out, and then uh, yeah. you spent time with your family. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> well, thank you. And okay. what, how, what about you, Carla? Do you have like a favorite movie that you like or some, maybe a TV show that you really like a lot? Yes, I like uh, K-drama, Korean K-drama, uh -huh. Korean. And I, I had a favorite movie. It's, a, it's um, a Prueba de Fuego. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that movie. What is that Amazing. movie about? It's about matrimonio, I think. A marriage? Okay, it's about the marriage. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, is that like a comedy movie or what kind of movie is that? No. Not really. It's most. No. It's a, uh, I don't know. It has a uh, advice about the marriage and the different situation on the, the between the husband and wife. Okay, awesome. What is the movie? Excuse me. Christian movie or nothing? Oh, movie it is a, it is a Christian, Christian movie. I see. Okay. Yes. Maybe maybe I, I have seen that movie. Now that I think about it, maybe I have seen that movie. I'm not sure. But I remember that I saw it it's... a long time ago. It was something like that. But that sounds really good. Ah, okay. I, it's I about like the... Kind of... Yeah. Okay. Sorry, you, you were saying... Uh, please go ahead, Carla. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to interrupt you. Do you want to say something more? Yes, I that say that you it's about the fire war. About what? Sorry? The fire war. Oh fireworks, I see. Like you mean like the the ones that they uh do like in holidays and things like that like december that kind of things right fireworks fuego artificiales verdad okay muy bien bueno no sé si ahorita me pueden escuchar okay. guys perdón creo que estamos teniendo un poco de problemas con la conexión guys creo que es el problema que les estaba diciendo de zoom así que de repente se me, se me quedan ahí congelados ustedes no sé si les pasa lo mismo conmigo de repente 
los escucho de repente no y se traba un poquito. Así que vamos a intentar como ver cómo trabajamos a pesar de todo eso, ¿verdad? Ahí, perdón, guys. Así que, bueno, le puedo escuchar a Carla, muy bien, muchas gracias a ambas Carlas, Carla, eh, Carla Delgado y Carla Hernández. Este, muy interesante, la verdad. Me gustan las películas acerca de, bueno, las películas de matrimonio y eso son interesantes. Eh, se puede aprender algo de eso, ¿verdad? Este, saber cómo tener un buen matrimonio, ¿no? <ríe> Así que, muy interesante. Muy bien, muchas gracias. <ríe> Lo voy a ver, se llama Prueba de Fuego, ¿verdad? Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I will check it out. I will, I will do that for sure. Bueno, guys. Bueno, thank you so much for coming, guys. So you can see that we are 11 today. I know that, for example, Osmin, he said that uh, his mother uh, was in the hospital, so he's not going to be for the class today. But I think that most of us are today for the class. All right. So last week, guys, we basically completed section number three and we also completed the midterm exam those were the two things that we did last week right so for today we have to continue and we are going to work on uh, section number four so basically that is what we need to do this week section number four and i think that we also have to start with section number five because next week guys is going to be like the last week of this module okay So you guys are like in the middle of the module and we are almost done, okay? You're doing a great job. So I wanna thank you. I wanna say that you guys are great. You guys are doing a good job, okay? So let's keep it up. Vamos a seguir así, guys. Van muy bien, muy bien. Eh, me gusta, Uy, perdón, <laughs> me cayó por acá algo. Este, me gusta eh, todas sus participaciones. Cada día sé que vamos aprendiendo, aunque sea una cosita que aprendamos, Vamos por el buen camino. Cada día tenemos que intentar mejorar, ¿verdad? Así que muchas gracias, guys. Y como les decía, por ahora vamos a continuar con nuestros temas. Eh, vamos a comenzar con la sección 3. Y vamos a intentar siempre practicar, ¿verdad? O sea, yo les voy a estar haciendo preguntas en algún momento para que ustedes puedan eh, contestar y puedan eh, practicar, ¿verdad? Así que eso vamos a hacer el día de hoy. Ok, vamos a ver por acá. All right, guys, so for today we have this. I'm going to share the screen with you. So I have these little, uh, these uh, two images on the screen because today we're going to talk about feelings and emotions. Okay, that's going to be like the topic for today. So we have the object for the lesson. And in this class, you guys will learn vocabulary for describing feelings and gestures, okay? So on the left-hand side of the screens, you guys have the feeling chart. And then on the right-hand side of the screen, you have the emotions and feelings vocabulary, okay? So we're going to work on that so you guys can, sorry, so you guys can learn uh, the vocabulary about feelings and emotions, okay? Right, so, vamos a ver, ¿qué piensan ustedes acerca de esto, guys? ¿Cuál sería como la diferencia uh, between feelings and emotions? What, what is like the difference in that case? What, what do you guys think? Vamos a ver. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Julio. I think, I think the, the difference is the, the, the time that it uh, and the uh they both they both uh uh i think feelings are long term uh and emotion is something that happened in, in a, a specific time i think very good so basically what you're trying to say julio is that uh the difference it is how long they last like for example feelings exactly. uh, they can last longer than emotions right exactly thank you okay awesome thank you so much very good all right so in este caso nos acaba de decir julio que él piensa que la diferencia es la duración de cada uno okay 
how long they last, okay? Right, remember, remember that, guys. Okay, if you want to say that something lasts for an hour, okay, dura una hora, or it can last for two hours, it can last for a week, it can last for more, okay? Basically, we're saying that uh, dura, okay, la duración. Right, so in this case, uh, we have feelings, and Julio thinks that feelings last longer, okay? And then emotions have, like, they last uh, less, okay? For example. Bueno, <clears throat> ¿qué piensan los demás? Eh, ¿Están de acuerdo con Julio o you don't agree with Julio? Uh, do you guys agree or don't agree to that? I agree. You agree. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Sofia. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, Sofia says that she agrees to what Julio said before. Okay. Bueno, Did vamos a pensar. I agree. Uh, me too. You also agree. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Jorge. Very good. Entonces, Jorge también está de acuerdo. Muy bien. Very good. Bueno, entonces, en este caso, vamos a ir viendo por acá. Eh, vamos a ver. Se lo voy a mostrar más cerquita para que lo puedan ver. Eh, tenemos acá el cuadro de sentimientos, ¿verdad? Feeling sharp. Ok. Sharp es un cuadro, guys. Un cuadro o un expediente. En un caso, un contexto médico, el sharp es un expediente, ¿ok? Like medical chart, but in this case, we have the feeling chart. So, es un cuadro de sentimientos. So, we have different feelings, guys, like uh, when you are afraid, you may be sad, you may be worried, happy. So in this case, afraid is like when you are, uh, like, you are scared, ¿ok? Like you see something that is terrifying and then you are Afraid something may happen to you, okay? And then sad. Let's say that something happened, something really uh, bad, like a family member that passed away, for example, that can make you sad, right? That would be an example. Uh, then worried. Let's say that, for example, you have an important test or you have a job interview, then you may be worried because you are afraid that something bad can happen, then you are worried because of that, okay? Then happy, I think that we don't need like that much explanation for that, but it's really like self-explanatory, I guess. And then we have shame, okay? Let's say that, for example, guys, in, uh, you, you fall. Like, let's say that you are walking on the street and then you fall to the ground, okay? And people are watching you then you may be ashamed. ¿Ok? ¿Vamos entendiendo hasta ahora? Se lo voy intentando explicar para que vean como un contexto, ¿verdad? Y que ustedes también lo puedan aplicar cuando yo les pregunte a ustedes. ¿Ok? Quiero que ustedes básicamente sean capaces de poder expresar una, una situación, por ejemplo, en la cual ustedes hayan tenido una de estas, uno de estos sentimientos. Por ejemplo, pueden contarme una, una anécdota. Uh, por ejemplo, de, eh, como les estaba mencionando. Eh, so, let's say that my family celebrated my birthday uh, when I was 15. They bought me uh, many gifts. So, that made me really happy. Okay? For example, you can say something like that. Or you can say that, uh, for example, uh, you had a little pet that you love, like you love uh, a lot. And then uh, something happened to it and that made you sad, for example. Okay, so I'm just trying to give you guys some examples so you can tell me uh, things like that. Okay, that's what we need. Vaya, <clears throat> perdón, guys. Ando un poco todavía mal de la garganta. Vaya, entonces acá quiero que nosotros vayamos pensando en posibles situaciones en las cuales nosotros, nosotros hayamos experimentado una de estas emociones, ¿ok? Pensemos en eso. Y ustedes me pueden decir un ejemplo. Like, for example, uh, so I was uh, at, in class and then I was really uh, tired and because of that, I was really distracted. So I didn't pay attention to the class, for example. ¿Ok? You were distracted because of that. And then embarrassed. 
¿ok? Avergonzado. Tenemos también nervioso, nervous, we have confident, ¿ok? You guys have a lot of knowledge. You guys feel that you really, really know how to do something. Then you guys may be confident, ¿ok? Like, like for example, let's say that you guys are really good at math, then you may be confident if you have a math test because you know how to do that. Then we have frustrated, guilty, okay? You did something bad. You feel like you shouldn't have done it. Then you are guilty. We have lonely, exhausted, surprised, shy, confused, proud, shocked, angry, and overwhelmed. ¿Qué significa overwhelmed, guys? What do you guys think? What is the meaning for that? Overwhelmed. What does that mean? Vamos a ver, alguien por acá que nos dé la respuesta. ¿Qué significa overwhelmed? Abrumado. Abrumado. Very good. Thank you so much, Beatrice. That is correct. Awesome. Thank you. Bueno, vamos a ver. Entonces, acá tenemos entonces, ya dijimos la parte de los sentimientos, ¿verdad? Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de alguna de estas preguntas, alguna de estas, perdón, alguna de estas emociones, uno de estos sen sentimientos, perdón. Alguna pregunta acerca del significado de alguno de estos. Or no questions, okay? Not, not, not at this time. All right, let's see. Let's move on. No problem, guys. We can move on. Vamos a ver por acá. Tenemos emociones y sentimientos. Sentimientos, okay? So we have afraid, amused, angry, annoyed. As you can see here, we have the little, uh, these little images. Afraid, then amused. It has a big smile on it. And then angry. It's like frowning, then annoyed. Look at this. He seems really upset, right? Annoyed, appalled, astonished. Oh, bored, burden, composed, combative, confused, curious. Tenemos bastante, bastantes palabras para expresar nuestros, nuestras emociones, ¿ok? Esto es algo que nos va a ayudar también, guys. Así que hay que intentar prestarle atención. Entonces vamos a observarlo un poquito más. O tenemos algunos otros por acá, como curious, content, delighted, miserable, or depressed. Okay, depressed. Determined, disappointed. Okay, disappointed. When something that you expected to happen, it didn't happen at the end. Like, for example, uh, you were expecting uh, for somebody to do something and that person didn't do it, then you may be disappointed because of that. Then disgust. Like disgusted, exhausted, you are really, really tired, so you are exhausted. Exhilarated, like extremely happy. Grateful, okay, grateful. Okay, I'm really grateful for all the help that you have given me. Then happy. And we have hate, historical, hopeful. Loading. ¿Qué significa loading, guys? Like, like this. This one right here. Perdón, se lo voy a poner por acá. ¿Qué significa esto? Este de aquí. Busquémoslo. Si no lo sabemos, busquémoslo. Vamos a hacer investigación también. ¿Qué significa esto? Holgazaneando. Holgazaneando. 
Ok, vamos a ver los demás, ¿qué piensan? ¿Es, lo, es, es el significado? Como odioso. Perdón. Brenda. Odioso. Mm, sí. Ok, vamos a ver. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, it, it, excuse me, uh, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, a loving, a feeling of intense dislike or, or disgust. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. And, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, th there's an, ex an example. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the top filled him with loving. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you so much, Julio. So it is like when you don't like something, right? Mm -hmm. Like you are disgusted by that. You, you don't like it. Very good. Ahí está. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, guys. Por responder a la pregunta, por... Ahora ya sabemos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué significa? Es una palabra que aparece de vez en cuando por ahí. Y creo que si no sabemos lo que significa, nos quedamos ahí en las nubes. Nos quedamos en el aire. Así que es bueno saber de este vocabulario también. Es, es bastante útil. Bueno, entonces como les decía, me gustaría que ahora practiquemos un poco. Ya vimos acá algunas emociones, algunos sentimientos. Entonces no sé si algunos... Bueno, quiero que lo hagamos así como siempre. Tal vez puedan ser eh, de forma voluntaria. Ustedes escogen alguno de estos, el que ustedes gusten. Cualquiera de los dos. Y pueden... Contarnos una pequeña situación, ¿verdad? por ejemplo, como les estaba mencionando. Eh, pueden imaginarse la primera en español, si quieren. Bueno, por ejemplo, yo iba pasando por la calle y habían, no sé, algunos perros que se veían muy peligrosos. Eh, o habían unas personas que con un aspecto raro, entonces eh, estaba eh, temeroso de que algo me pudiera pasar. Some, something like that, okay? Or you can say that, like I mentioned before, right? You can say, Uh, like um, I was really sad because uh, I wanted to go to the uh, to the concert uh, of my favorite uh, singer, but I was not able to get uh, tickets for that, so I, I couldn't go. And my friends uh, went to that uh, concert, but I couldn't do it because I I couldn't buy uh, tickets uh, like on time. For example, you can say something like that, guys. I mean, I'm just trying to. Make something up so you can uh, get the idea. Vamos a ver, ¿qué, qué, ¿quién quiere por acá? Si quieren, anótenlo primero. Vamos a hacer eso. Tratemos de anotarlo si quieren. Anotamos nuestro ejemplo y después lo decimos con la clase. Teacher. Yes. Can you share us the images in WhatsApp? No problem. I can do that. I can do that, Carla. Certainly. So let me go ahead and do that. Aquí vamos. Si creo que es mejor si las paso por WhatsApp, así las tienen más accesibles, las pueden ampliar y todo, para que no haya ningún problema. Por aquí. Ok, guys, vamos a trabajar en eso y ustedes me hacen saber cuando estén listos, ok? You guys can take your time and then you let me know.
All right, very good. So we have Jorge, he wants to share uh, the example with the class. Vamos a ver qué dice Jorge. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was happy because I was talking with my friend while having lunch and he was telling me on history about his childrenhood and I was uh, fascinated. Awesome, okay, very good. Vamos a hacer una cosa, Jorge, muy bien, muy bueno el ejemplo. Vamos a hacer algo, vamos a ir anotando algunos para que nos queden como un ejemplo para todos. Y si tenemos, eh, por ejemplo, algo, algo que mejorar, lo vamos a mejorar, ¿ok? Así que vamos a ver, dígamelo una vez más, por favor, Jorge. I was happy because I was talking. With my friend, mm -hmm. while having lunch, while having lunch, okay, and he was telling me one history, my one story, okay, history, um. About his childhood. His childhood, okay. And I was fascinated. Very good. Fascinated. Ahora vamos a arreglar. Que por aquí una S. Bueno, muy bien. Muchas gracias, eh, Jorge. Por acá le hicimos algunos eh, pequeños arreglos para que quedara mejor. Pero muy bien, muy buen trabajo, Jorge. So I was happy because I was... Uh, Perdón, I was talking with my friend while, uh, let's say, for example, we were having lunch and he was telling me one story. Okay, vamos a recordar, guys, que story es cuando estamos hablando como de una anécdota. Okay, story. ¿Qué pasa si decimos history? History es acerca de historia. Okay, como sucesos que han, que han ocurrido eh, históricos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, una, una guerra, ese tipo de cosas, ¿verdad? Pero una como anécdota, así lo, lo llamamos nosotros una a, a story, ¿ok? So, a story about his childhood, ¿ok? Su niñez o su infancia. And I was fascinated, ¿ok? Very good. Yo creo que por ahí teníamos a Carla que quería compartir, así que vamos a ver qué es lo que nos tiene Carla. Eh, perdón, Beatriz, creo que Beatriz era. Okay. Uh, the last week I was mm -hmm. overwhelmed, overwhelmed mm -hmm. because my three children are sick. My three children, okay, awesome. Three. Three, okay, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Three children were sick. Are sick, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Then I feel hopeful when I, the medicine mm -hmm. when, when the medicine took effect. Effect. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Now I'm tired. Now I'm tired. Okay. My goodness. I hope that <laughs> everything is fine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Beatrice. Is that it? Or do you have more? No. That's all. That it. So is this something that actually happened, Beatrice? Were your children sick last week? Yes, they have a flu. They had the flu. Okay, I see. Well, hopefully mm -hmm. they are doing better now. How are they how are they doing now? Uh, right now is well. I am sick. <laughs> oh, I see. I, actually, I can hear that. It sounds like you are like a little congested, actually. Yes. I see. <laughs> is the the effect when you uh, care to the shy? <laughs> I see. Yes, I totally understand. You have to take care of them. And then since you are so close to them, then you... Uh, catch the virus and things like that. So I, I understand that. 
Well, hopefully oh, yes. you can get better soon, Beatriz. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Bueno, ahí tenemos entonces, eh, nos está diciendo Beatriz, le cambiamos un par, un par de cositas, ¿verdad? Recuerden siempre, nosotros en, en el español, ¿verdad? Siempre decimos como que la semana pasada, el mes pasado. Entonces tenemos la costumbre de decir, por ejemplo, the last week. So in, in English, that doesn't happen, right? We, we just have to say last week, last month, uh, I was overwhelmed because my three children were sick. Then I felt, okay? felt because that's something that happened in the past so i felt hopeful when the medicine took effect now i'm tired so then very good thank you vamos a ver ahora tenemos a uh, ana hi teacher um, hi. more uh, more time uh, history is an affirmation and say um i'm correct because and worried because the business has been very difficult this month. However, I'm positive uh, and believe that I will achieve the desired, desired result. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Anna. I think that you will have to repeat it for me one more time because I couldn't uh, write it down. So maybe you can please repeat it one more time. Okay, I'm worried mm -hmm. because uh, the business uh, has been has been very difficult mm -hmm. this month. Mm -hmm. However, I'm positive and believe that I will achieve the desired result. Will achieve the desired results. Okay. Desired awesome. results. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Anna. So I'm worried because the business has been very difficult this month. Okay, aquí a veces me faltan algunas letras, guys. Ahí me disculpan. Uh, however, uh, mm -hmm. okay. No, it's okay. You can go ahead, Anna. I want you to say it because I mean that's what uh, this is all about, right? So you can go ahead. Thanks. Let's say it one more time, Anna. Please, one more time. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going for it mm -hmm. because the business has been very difficult this month. Mm -hmm. However, I'm positive. I believe I will achieve the desired result. Okay, very good. Thank you. Very good. Very good job, Anna. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Bueno, muy bien. Ahí tenemos el ejemplo de Anna. Muy bien. Estamos utilizando el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Y me gusta porque... Bueno, lo estamos aplicando a nuestra vida, ¿verdad? Que eso es lo más importante. No se trata aquí solamente de leer, de aprendernos un par de palabras que después no las utilicemos para nada. Así que, muy bien, guys. Buen trabajo. Bueno, tenemos a Francisco por ahí. Vamos a ver qué, qué nos dice Francisco. Mr. Francisco. Good evening, teacher. I'm Good sorry. I, I have, have been uh, a little sick. Yeah. I... But I want to practice. <laughs> Well, thank you, Francisco. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I had a feeling that you had something going on because you usually uh, participate in the class. So I, I, I knew that there was something going on with you. Yeah, teacher. Thank you. Uh, the situation is, is the next. It go, I was very happy with my, with my wife when our son was delivered to us in the in the hospital uh <clears throat> and we after he was born uh, we were able to hold him in in our arms uh, since due, due, due to complications we did not receive him when when he was born mm -hmm when he was born okay All right so i think i missed a couple of things francisco um, i apologize uh, so maybe you can say it one more time yeah yeah i <clears throat> i was very happy with me with my wife um when um, our son son was delivered to us in the hospital uh mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> a week after he was born, uh, we were able to hold him in mm -hmm. in our our arms, mm -hmm. in nuestro brazo, mm -hmm. in our arms. Since since due to complications, we did not receive him when <clears throat> when he was born. With no receive uh receive him uh, is this what you said we yeah uh, we did not receive oh i see uh, no lo pudimos not... recibir I cuando see. cuando él nació i see okay very good francisco thank you so i think that that was a great example francisco we can change a couple of things i guess like for example you can say me and my wife were uh very happy for example you can say that lo podemos cambiar yeah. un poquito para que se oiga más como más digamos natural por así decirlo so oh, yeah. my wife and I por ejemplo <coughs> vamos a hacerlo de la forma más correcta verdad no me and my wife sino que my wife and I were were uh, very happy when our son was bo uh, delivered uh, to us at the hospital eh, vamos a ver luego lo que queremos decir acá, si yo, yo lo entiendo, la verdad, es que nos, mi esposa y yo estábamos muy contentos cuando nuestro hijo se nos fue entregado en el hospital eh, y después sí. fuimos, eh, después de que nació, pudimos eh, sujetarlo en nuestros brazos, ¿verdad? A, a week after. Oh, a week after. Okay. A week after. I see. Yeah. A, a week after he was born. Ajá. Uh -huh. We were able mm -hmm. to hold him mm -hmm. in our arms. In, in our arms, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I don't know if this is right or if I made a mistake. Is this uh, okay? No, así está bien. Así okay. está bien. All right, perfect. Entonces, luego estamos queriendo decir que debido a complicaciones, nosotros no lo recibimos cuando él nació, al momento de nacer, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, puedo, pudiéramos cambiarlo un poco también, creo yo, ¿verdad? Un poquito más. Uh, we were able to hold him in our arms. <coughs> That's perfect. That's very good. Then, uh, uh, puede, por ejemplo, le pudiéramos como reordenar quizás, más que todo. Uh, we were not able to... No, no sé. Vamos a ver, tenemos que pensarlo bien. I think I was very happy when our son was delivered to us at the hospital after he was born. We were able to hold him in our arms. Um, we did not receive him when he was born. Yeah. Bueno, creo que estaría bastante bien, la verdad. Creo que se entiende el, el significado. Así que muy bien, muy bien, Francisco. Ahí un poquito, solo al inicio nada más, teníamos como que cambiar, ¿verdad? El orden. Como, se lo digo como consejo para que tal vez yes. en el futuro yes. trate como de reformularlo. Pues como les digo, okay. ¿verdad? Nosotros tenemos como la, la costumbre bastante de que pensamos en español casi todo el tiempo. Entonces, yes. <laughs> no, hay, no hay problema. Entonces, yo los entiendo. Thank you, teacher. Es, you're welcome. No problem. Okay. Creo que por ahí teníamos a Sofía. Vamos a ver qué, cuál es el ejemplo de Sofía. Ok. Vamos a bajar este por aquí. My first day in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. The teacher made us introduce ourselves. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, I got very nervous. I got very nervous, okay. And I didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I felt very shy. Very shy, okay. And I started to cry. <laughs> well, this is something that happens, right? I mean, I think that I cried the first day of school, to be honest with you. I wanted my mom. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I get the feeling. I know what you mean. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Uh, could you please repeat it one more time, Sofia? I just want to hear it one more time, okay? Let's let's do it one and, more time. Okay. My first day in kindergarten, the teacher made us introduce ourselves. I got very nervous and I didn't know what to say. 
I felt very shy and I started to cry. <laughs> bueno, muy bien. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Sofía. Vamos a, como les digo, ¿verdad? vamos a ir como cambiarle un par de cositas. Eh, acá le entiendo, ¿verdad? Dice el primer día de jardín de, de niños. Ok. Eh, eh, the teacher made, made us. Ajá. Eh, ¿Esta parte eh, está bien así como lo escribí o, o había que cambiar? No. Does not. Okay. Uh, change, please. All right, so... Made, the make. Ok, le paso. Made. How do you spell that? Made us. Ok. M A D E. A D E. M U S. M U S. Like this? No. U S without M. E only oh, U S. Made us. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Okay. Made us ask, introduce ourselves. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So, yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, entonces, acá. Estamos intentando decir que el primer día de Jardín de Niños, el maestro o maestra nos hizo... Acá, ¿cómo sería la traducción? Perdón, eh, Sofía. Presentarnos. Pero todo completo. ¿Cómo sería acá esta parte? Ah, Perdón. ok. Uh -huh. eh, mi primer día de, de, kinder, de Jardín de Niños, el uh -huh. maestro nos hizo presentarnos. Y oh, me okay. puse muy nerviosa uh -huh. y no sabía qué decir uh -huh. y me sentí muy tímida y empecé a llorar ok, very good, thank you I appreciate that, uh, Sofía bueno, um, le voy a decir por acá creo que no, no estamos en ese tema pero es bien importante y creo que lo, lo van a usar van a ver que la gente lo usa bastante bastante eh, cuando queremos decir que nosotros hacemos a alguien hacer algo por lo general en inglés eh, lo que dicen es uh, I, I will have you do something like for example in this case uh, the teacher had us introduce ourselves ok se utiliza el verbo have para decir eso entonces aquí lo vamos a poner en pasado le vamos a quitar aquí esto miren si ustedes lo quieren eh, si ustedes quieren lo pueden eh, buscar y van a ver que no, no les estoy mintiendo utilizamos el verbo have y luego utilizamos, eh, bueno, dependiendo de quién sea, ¿verdad? Uh, si es como, I, I can have you, uh, I can have uh, them do something. Básicamente lo que estamos diciendo en el español es que vamos a hacer que una persona haga algo para nosotros. ¿Ok? Una acción. ¿Estamos claros ahí? Entonces, por ejemplo, yo les puedo decir, I'm going to have you write three examples. For me, ok. Entonces voy a hacer que ustedes escriban tres ejemplos para mí. I'm going to have you do something, ok. Then you can have me explain something to you. Right? ¿Alguna pregunta, guys? ¿Me queda claro lo que acabo de decir? Yes. Very Thanks, good. Teacher. Very good. Vale, entonces ahí le, queda, ahí le queda a Sofía muy bueno, la verdad. Porque no solamente para usted, sino que para todo, ¿verdad? Puede ser que no, no, no sabíamos algunos, eh, otros sí, pero ahí nos queda, ¿verdad? Para todos. So, my first day in kindergarten, the teacher had us introduce ourselves. ¿Ok? I got very nervous and I didn't know what to say. ¿Ok? And then, uh, you can say, for example, I felt very ashamed. ¿Ok? Because shy is like... Uh, I think that, that that's fine, but maybe you can say I felt shame, avergonzada, o algo así. But that's fine. You can you can leave it like this. That's fine. And I started to cry. That's perfect. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Thank you so much, Sofía. I appreciate that. Muy buen ejemplo, de Sofía. Algo que nos pasa a todos, ¿verdad? Creo que nos pasó a nosotros. Si tenemos hijos, le va a pasar a nuestros hijos y a los hijos de nuestros hijos. Yo, como les digo, el primer día de clases, yo al principio iba contento para la escuela, cuando estaba pequeño. Fue hace bastante tiempo, guys. eso sí se lo digo, pero me acuerdo. Yo para la escuela contento, me, me gustaban mis cuadernos con olor a nuevo y todo eso. Pero cuando vi que mi mamá se iba, ahí ya no me, no me sentí tan contento. Ya. <risa> Recuerdo que empecé a llorar también, no, no se lo voy a negar. 
Entonces a llorar y era como que, no, yo me quiero ir, no, sáquenme de aquí. Y así, toda la clase, pero fue el primer día nada más. <ríe> así que solamente un día. Así que creo, creo que a muchos nos pasa, ¿verdad? No soy el único. Bueno, vamos a ver, no sé si alguien más quiere compartir. Ahí tenemos a Carla Delgado. Sabía que Carla estaba por ahí preparada. Ya la había visto con ganas desde antes. Eso me gusta. <ríe> Vamos a ver, Carla. You can go ahead. Ok. Mm, while I was traveling by bus. I felt really excited. M begun to sleeping. Mm -hmm. Then the guy sitting next to me. Mm -hmm. Gaze at me, but suddenly both of us were sleeping. <laughs> both of us were. Sleepy, ok. Suena como una historia eso de, de, del bus, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok. Ahora vamos a ver. Creo que tal vez me hizo falta por acá alguna parte, Carla. Así que voy a hacer que me lo diga una vez más. Ok. One more time, please. Okay. While I was traveling by bus, uh -huh. I felt excited and began to sleeping. Then the guy sitting next to me Gaze at me, but suddenly both of us were asleep. <laughs> right, very good. Very good. So, vamos a ver. <laughs> oh, bien interesante, la verdad. Dice Carla que mientras ella estaba viajando por, por el bus, en el bus, ¿verdad? <clears throat> Se comenzó a sentir muy exhausta, ¿correcto? Sí. Exhausted. Okay, exhausted. So I, I felt exhausted. really exhausted, okay? Exhausted. And then we gone to... Aquí, ¿está bien así como lo escribí o, o me equivoqué? Yes. Is this okay? Yes. It's like exhausted and we gone to sleeping. I don't, I don't know if I made a mistake yes. or not. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. That's okay, all right. De mí. Vamos a ver por acá, creo que lo borré todo por accidente. Ahí está. Vamos a ver, vamos a borrar esto aquí. Ahí está. Bueno, ahí está. Perdón. Bueno, entonces, eh, sleeping. Bueno, creo que lo entiendo acá. Dice Carla que cuando estaba viajando por, eh, en el bus, se sintió muy exhausta y comenzó a dormirse, ¿correcto? Se comenzó a sí. quedar dormida. Right. Very good. Bueno, esta es otra parte que también es bien interesante, guys, eh, acerca de quedarse dormido. So, I think that you guys can say something a little different, maybe. So, I began to fall asleep, for example. Fall asleep, okay? Fall asleep. That's like the most common expression that we can use for that. Que comencé a quedarme dormido. ¿Verdad? Nosotros en español lo decimos diferente, pero... En inglés, por lo general se dice así. So I was falling asleep when the guy uh, sitting next to me gazed at me, but suddenly both of our, uh, both of us were sleeping. For example. Entonces está muy bien. Muchas gracias, Carla. Solamente esa parte de, creo que le podemos cambiar. Déjenme ver cómo puedo hacer aquí para cambiar esto. Vamos a ver. Echarle para atrás. Vamos a seleccionar, tal vez. Ahí está, ahora sí. Ok, vamos a cambiarlo aquí para que los demás lo tengan también. And the one. And... Por ejemplo, podemos decir I was falling asleep when the guy sitting next to me. Todo lo demás está muy bien, la verdad. Me gusta bastante esta parte. Uh, the guy sitting next to me Okay. Alguien sentado junto a mí. Okay. 
me dio un vistazo o me, me volvió a ver y de repente ambos estábamos somnolientos, ¿ok? Sleepy, con sueño los dos. Se, se le transfirió, ¿verdad? El sueño. Eso pasa, <ríe> eso pasa. Así que, muy bien. Very good, very good. I like this. Very good, guys. I really uh, want to thank you for all of your examples, guys, because that is something that helps us. As you can see, uh, maybe there is something that you guys didn't know that now you know. So that's very, very good. Really like it, guys. Thank you. Entonces, ya, ya vimos varios ejemplos. Creo que vamos a dejarlo allí. Me ha gustado mucho, la verdad. Hemos practicado. Sé que cuando nos tomamos turnos, eh, bueno, Eh, tal vez los demás tienen que estar escuchando por un buen rato, pero eh, al menos así podemos practicar todos, ¿verdad? Así que muy bien, guys, vamos a continuar. Vamos a... Denme un segundo, vamos a pasar... Prácticamente ya vamos, ya casi se nos acabó el tiempo, así que vamos a tener que hacer algo, solamente les voy a mostrar esto por acá. Un instante porque hay mucho desorden aquí. Bueno. Nosotros como parte de... del tema que estamos viendo ahorita, que son de las emociones y todo esto, tenemos también por acá cómo describir los gestos de una persona, ¿ok? Y cómo eso se relaciona con las emociones o los sentimientos. Por ejemplo, tenemos esta persona acá, si se fijan, tiene diferentes gestos eh, con sus manos, con su rostro, con su cuerpo, lenguaje corporal, ¿verdad? Entonces, acá tenemos, por ejemplo, he's uh, biting his nails. And then uh, we have, uh, on the, at the bottom, we have these uh, words that we can use, like uh, some uh, feelings that match uh, these sentences that we have. Okay? Like, for example, he's biting his nails because he is uh, impatient or he's nervous. For example, we can say something like that. Or... Uh, you can also say he's rolling his eyes because he is disgusted, okay? For example. Entonces, básicamente, acá vamos nosotros a describir qué es lo que pensamos que alguien, eh, por qué alguien está haciendo algo en base a las emociones que acabamos de ver, okay? De los sentimientos. Básicamente, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Ya casi se nos acabó el tiempo, así que solamente les quería mostrar esto. Lo vamos a hacer mañana. <coughs> Perdón, guys. Vamos a practicar. ¿Ok? Vamos a practicar otra vez. Así que no sé si tienen alguna pregunta por ahora, guys. Any questions, any concerns? We are going to work on this tomorrow, ¿ok? Es el primer día de la semana, así que solamente estamos empezando un poco aquí, intentando ya arrancar, ¿verdad? Porque creo que todavía que, que quisiéramos estar en fin de semana. Yo los entiendo. Yo creo que quisiera que todavía fuera domingo. un tercer día de, de descanso, ¿verdad? Pero ya, ya nos toca arrancar, así que aquí vamos poquito a poco. Bueno, entonces, si no tienen preguntas, guys, nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí ahora y vamos a seguir el día de mañana, ¿ok? So, I want to thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for coming to the class and I hope you guys have a great evening. And I will see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.